There's a koi pond dress. For Seattle dress designer Lula Yang, it's not only about fashion, it's about artistry. It's in fashion, but it's a commissioned art piece, mm -hmm. wearable art. She calls her dresses couture, a French word that just might puzzle some folks. What is couture? Couture is an art form. It is a, the art of creating a garment for one individual, customized, individualized, and commissioned. Yang actually got her start in graphic design, but she knew even as a little girl, she wanted to work in fashion design. And this was the dress that really launched her career. She's my baby. The Monarch Butterfly Dress is without a doubt her best known. I was invited as a graphic designer to enter a uh, paper dress competition. Oh. And I made the Monarch Butterfly Dress. And that was for Metamorphosis. That mm -hmm. was inspired by Metamorphosis, mm -hmm. the change. I can feel myself turning into a butterfly right on the spot. But would Yang sell her baby? The butterfly dress has um, gained so much interest, even nationally, internationally, and it has almost left me a few times. And I almost left you like someone like almost somebody almost it? adopted her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody almost did. Not in Seattle, in another mm -hmm. city. And mm -hmm. I, I had mixed feelings about it that day because I'm so attached to her. But I would be her really honored. Her is a dress. Yeah, for her. She's, <laughs> she has a personality. But I would be really honored if somebody would um, purchase it and appreciate it the way that I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So everything's for sale. Yes. <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> so yes. Just 10 years ago, Yang had a small wedding dress shop upstairs, just a dozen dresses. Not anymore. Her current location, street level, next to the Fairmont Hotel. And I was happy at the time with my 12 samples and just doing what I love. So you have lots and lots of new things. Today, Yang is branching out. Evening dresses, cocktail dresses, shoes, purses. She says she likes designing and she likes Seattle. I see Seattle as a very subtle, very fashionable, but subtle um, city. And we Seattleites dress very elegantly but in subtle colors, not so bright. My new collection's very bright. It's a push for us, but I think it's fun. Where do you get your inspiration? Everywhere. Every year is different. This year was um, from the aquarium, from my visits to the aquarium. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we've titled it Ocean, and the whole collection is based on um, really f vibrant colors of the tropics and um, sharks and stingrays, very fun. So you just wandered through the aquarium. You saw some of the beautiful fish. Mm -hmm. And you came back and designed dresses with those in mind. Yes. And I knew I wanted something very lighthearted and very colorful, and that was the perfect place to begin. Tell me about the red one. The red one in the window, that is our finale dress. And every year we always introduce one amazing queen of the whole collection, and she's the Coral Queen. <laughs> Made out of a silk organza with um, big coral prints on it with Swarovski crystals. And I don't know if you saw the headpiece. Jean Juarez helped us build that. It's amazing, made out of um, coral and beads and feathers. It might not be the most practical outfit, but what a statement, even sitting in the window. She's encrusted with uh, crystals here, and she has a layer of organza rouge over the top. It's amazing. So that would be very fun to wear. Those gowns cost thousands of dollars, sometimes tens of thousands. This is a hybrid of a peacock and a phoenix, because a phoenix in Chinese culture represents the woman. This took longer than any other garment I've ever made. What happens when you make a dress using fabric woven with fiber optic thread? What do the batteries do? They light up the dress. Like this. So why are your models so skinny? Are they? <laughs> I always try, and if you look at my show, you will see, compare that to New York Runway, mm -hmm. Couture Runway shows. My models are actually one or two sizes bigger than the Couture Runway shows in Milan and, and New York. And I prefer some curves on a woman as well, but it's actually very difficult to find models that have more curves here because it's not the norm. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I always tell them at the fitting to the models, eat and don't diet before my show. Well, the boys will be relieved because they too yes. like, apparently, girls with some curves. Seattle is really most comfortable in Gore-Tex and rain gear. Mm -hmm. 
maybe because of our weather or maybe that's our fashion sense. But your designs are spectacular and not really meant for the rain, the cold weather, and never out of Gore-Tex or mm -hmm. flannel. However, I am and have been trying to source waterproof material. Oh, I'm watch doing, out, Seattle. I'm doing R&D right now on many <laughs> amazing products just for Seattle. And um, is I want to create a beautiful raincoat for women uh -huh. where they, I want it to be hanging in their coat closet and that when they wake up and it starts to pour, they are thankful that they can pull that coat out and wear it today. <laughs> And every collection has a very strong concept mm -hmm. every year. What's the current collection's concept? O ocean. Mm -hmm. It's about the ocean, and it's about life in ocean. The mystery of it, and the vibrancy of it, and the youthfulness of it. I think, I think telling that story visually in the form of fabric and models and runway is very, very fun. People like stories. I think so. I enjoy creating them and telling them. Mm -hmm. Like you. <laughs>